Hello uh, to all my LLB, to all UCI LLB students. Wish you all the best to you and your family and hope you're safe at home. In these unprecedented times, we all have to we all have to do our best. Several teachers have already started their online classes, and now we have that we have the guidelines from the University of London. Your teachers can start preparing you for the final examinations to be held in July. I would like to cover two topics in this uh, video. One is about the examinations, and the other one is about the online preparation uh, for these exams. The first point in the examinations is, it's not clear it's an examination setting, form or examination setting. This is very important because it is possible for the British Council to arrange CV examinations in, the, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a hall or in, for example, scans, because they are already doing this for ACCA. So, online uh, uh, examinations, uh, it's, easy, it's, it's possible to handle by um, British Council. So, it could very well be that it's going to be in an examination setting. Even if at the end of the day you end up doing the papers from home, you have, and you have even the notes uh, handy, you, can, you have absolutely no time to consult your papers uh, in, because you only have one hour to complete the answer. Nobody can type a full answer, which is correct, uh, by looking at the notes and, and deciding which are the right ones. If you don't believe me, you can just try. You just read, you just read uh, a, a chapter, for example, of a subject guide, and then attempt one question that you have not seen, and see if you, how much you can manage to write in one hour you will see that your attempt will not be very good. The other point about the examinations is get your laptops ready. Get laptops ready. Laptops ready. Because even if it's in an examination setting, maybe you will be needing to use your own laptop. So for that, we need to have, uh, you need to have them ready. The factory needs to be in good shape. The mouse, if you need a mouse or whatever way, uh, the operating system with no viruses. We don't want, even if it's at home, you don't want your system to collapse while you're taking your examinations. Make absolutely sure you have your Wi-Fi. So, all this preparation of your uh, computers is very, very important. And if you don't have a computer, you may have to buy one. Otherwise, you won't be able to do your exams. Now, UCI has some uh, machines where you could do them over here. So we can uh, have in our computer lab some online examinations. So we will just have to wait to see what the University of London is going to decide. But if it's in an examination setting, we will not know that till the very end. Because uh, it will all depend on how this pandemic develops. So the second point uh, that I wanted to address you in this examinations point is that there is no grammar and spelling check. No, no grammar and spelling check. What do I mean by that? If we have an experience of IELTS, for example, or even the online exam that our students did for uh, getting their admission in the chest uh, this year, uh, the, 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 the spelling is not correct. So all your mistakes are going to stay there. The I with a small capital I, everything is going to remain there. There's no grammar, highlighting problems or spelling problems. So you have to be mindful of that. The other thing is there's time constraint. So whenever it finishes, it finishes. There is no more time for correcting, checking, or making any corrections. While you are doing, the time is going, you can do the corrections. After that, you cannot do it. Also, when you submit your assignment, you have to, um, you, you are, uh, your answer, then you have no way back as well. And the question while you're doing it, it's going to be on your screen. So you would be knowing all the time what you're answering. So these are some of the points that I wanted to stress to you about the exam itself. Now, the second point I want to discuss is about preparation for the online uh, examinations. First point is follow your teacher's advice. That means 
that they will be telling you what, what to concentrate on, what are, what are the uh, easier uh, parts of the syllabus. As they've said, they're going to follow a similar pattern as before. So you can, I suppose, do some selective studies, but it has to be according to what the guidance that the University of London has given. And no better advice than your teacher. Now, when you send her a question, do tell her on WhatsApp group that you have sent her a question. So um, we want everybody to know how much you have worked and uh, the teacher needs to know also that she needs to go up, set up the computer and check your answer. You will be sending your answers on the emails, okay? Uh, the, the feedback will be given by her, either online or an audio message. So you incorporate those messages, those whatever uh, feedback she's giving you into your answer and make sure that it's a better answer for you to set them aside for preparation for the final uh, days before just your exam. So the more exams and the more essays and the more past papers, uh, questions you do, you're going to be better prepared. Now, UCI will be sending you um, chapter-wise questions uh, that we have already given to the teachers and maybe some of you already have. Now we have updated them till 2019, so you have a good their tool for uh, choosing your exams. The other important point here, before you send your um, exams for the teacher to check, make sure that you use UK, UK spelling and not USA spelling. That is because there are a lot of words which are spelled differently by the British and by the Americans. And in these UL exams, you should be make sure that you're having the and British spelling and not the American spelling. Now, the first point I wanted to tell you, which would be useful for you to prepare uh, exams, is to leave some questions for the preparation. To do them after, let's say, you have a question for one topic, one chapter, you have five or six questions. And now you may prepare essays for, let's say, three of those questions. And then leave two to do in an unseen situation in where you just pick up the question and try and do it in one hour. Hmm? Uh, now, one important thing is before you do that practice of trying to do an essay in one hour, and that is to turn off the grammar and the spelling of your uh, word perfect, of your word, of your word uh, doc uh, document. So when you turn off the grammar and the spelling, you're going to be writing exactly in the same way as UL is going to examine you. So then afterwards, uh, if you want to send that answer to your teacher, you may correct it, but you must make sure that you write down all those issues, grammar issues, spelling issues that you have. So whatever spellings you are not getting right, write them out, make a long list of these words, and then you can um, memorize them. So most likely, if it's like a yes or the University of London online exam, there'll be no grammar check, no spelling check for you. Okay, the other important point, and this is the final one, is the typing speed. Now, I don't know how many of you know touch typing. I personally learned it when I was in my last year of high school. So this is a very important skill, and many of you uh, are very slow at typing, make a lot of mistakes. So if you are finding problems in typing, you must uh, enroll in one of those online tutoring programs, uh, typing tutors. They are very useful, very good, and they will allow you uh, to, to learn touch typing and thus improving your, type, your typing speed. Because it would be uh, very sad that you know everything and you are uh, well aware of what you have to answer, but your typing speed is so slow that you cannot really answer all whatever you want to answer in that uh, one hour that you will have. Because remember, your exam will be only on one hour and not more. So uh, this was my advice for your exams and I really hope that you interact with your teachers, attend their online lectures, there may be one a week, but make sure that uh, you uh, ask the teachers, they are already at their homes, willing to answer you, to check your answers, uh, you just need to approach them so that you can um, have their feedback and be ready for these exams with a good set of uh, ready-made answers for the chapters that you are preparing. So in that way your performance will be uh, as it's required.